Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Lens Island, shall we? Alright, fantastic. So, at this point, um, I can actually get into the town now, so by upgrading the town a little bit, um, I have cleared this opening, so I can move over this way, which is cool. And you can see the bridge is all busted out here. Um, but this is where I can just take a... Uh, this is Festive Franks. Now, what does this even mean? Um, happy Festivus, friend. Oh, my goodness. They're celebrating Festivus. The Seinfeld Festival. Do they have a pole? I don't see a Festivus pole, but that's hilarious. It's a Festivus for the rest of us. Now, here's the florist that we've moved in. And she says, good morning. And now, you know, you can click on each of the things that you need to, uh, that you can buy for your garden, right? But I could also click on roses, and I could buy um, a blueprint for that. That's kind of cool. Um, but what about, uh, yes, yes, what are these? So these are roses. Now I have roses, correct? Now I would like to see what's my inventory like on this. I have 12 roses, so those sell for five each, which is actually pretty tremendous, right? Oh, wait, no. They sell for one each, and I can sell ten for ten. I was misreading this, but that's still a big improvement in my amount of gold. And you have to click on the right thing, so I don't have enough to sell there. You can see I'm, like, filling this up. I don't have enough lavender seeds to actually sell them, um, but that's okay. All right, fantastic. So now we have a little bit more information about the backpack or er, making money for the backpack is what I should say all right so we moved in somebody here um that actually I think we actually moved in everybody that we can um because we don't have enough plots and so I would need to you know get the mining town going to buy two more house plots and um this is going to require that I have the capacity to store 150 at a time because you can't incrementally deposit resources in there, at least as far as I've been able to tell. This is 50, so we're actually quite close. Do I have enough to just sell something else, you know? Um, that's, a, that's a tremendous question, I think. Like, if I go over here to this dude, right? Like, I could sell rock... And you could sell 10 for one. Um, you could sell five clay for one. I have glass that I can sell, right? So I could do that and make money, but I kind of, I feel like those resources I actually want. Even though I'm tremendously tempted, I think I'm going to keep everything except flowers. For now. There's a lot of things at my house I need to build. And one of those is a raft, so I can start going to other islands. So, let's do that, right? I mean, we can go around and... Now, these lily pads, I don't know if I can gather those. Uh, I'll look, I'll check it out. Can you do anything? Nah, that they don't they don't gather all right and let's see so looking at the map uh-huh tremendous now let me look at you know my workbench what would it take to build some stuff right so if i wanted to for example build this i could just make this right now and i probably should and then, if I wanted to make a sh like a better shield, or actually, I don't even have a shield. Um, I could do this. I just need some reed. I could make this hammer, and I could make a spear, which is actually pretty sweet, keeping enemies at a distance. Um, to upgrade this to level three, I need ingots, and that's going to require me um, to go here and try to build, you know, something like this. But this just takes a ton of wood. 
to build a refinery. The smelter takes uh, some more metal than I have and wood. The fireplace lets you bake bread. So we need a bunch of stone. That much is clear. What does this do? Healing. Okay. I should actually build a, a fireplace. Now I can't probably... It, it, it seems a little awkward. I could build it in my home, but I actually don't want to do that. My buddy Steve-O was telling me in the comments that the braziers inside the dungeon, the big ones that cost five, they do heal you. Um, and so if I built that right there, for example, I bet this guy would also um, heal me, perhaps. Now I can light this, right? And input, I could cook fish here if I wanted to. Interesting, all right? Um, but I'll extinguish it and light it when I need it. I don't really need this right now. I am hungry. Do I have any food? Good God. I'm running low. Well, I did just get a fishing pole, didn't I? Maybe I need to... I have a bunch of these mushrooms. Can I eat that? It doesn't seem like it makes me sick. Yeah, they're fine. All right, let's go ahead then and uh, beep bop over here. And s I'm going to just um, go for equipping this fishing pole instead of the torch for right now. And I'm just going to try it. What happens when I just cast it out there? There's fish right there. That's where I should be putting it. Now, I don't even know what's happening. There's... Um, I don't know how to do the fishing. I'm going to just try to cast it over here and see if I catch anything. Just chilling. Oh, okay. There's a timing window. So, you... You watch it, and it just tells you when to click it. We caught a fish. How about that? Okay, so cool. So this is fine. You just cast it out there. And then it pulses, and you just kind of hit the rhythm. Oh, I messed it up. I was doing that. I find it better to do the rhythm audibly in this game for some reason. Mm hmm Got another fish. Okay, so cool. And I'll just throw this over here. You know, obviously I can't sell these fish right now to make money. Oops, messed it up. But I can certainly cook them. So I'm going to run over here and just check this out. And I'm going to say input this fish, light it up, and let's just see what happens when we cook it. Put another one on there. Sweet, you could just push plus one right there. And you'll see that it's going to output into this. And we've got one. I gathered it. And it looks like I'm going to need to put some more wood there. This is a great. You can just see how long it takes to cook, and then it picks it out there. And I'm going to extinguish that. And then now we have some food to eat that's cooked, right? So I have, like, a grilled sardine. Wait, did, did I not pick up the other one? Yeah, I need to get the other one. So I have two grilled sardines. And I don't know how to understand, like, how much satiety these give you. Let's look at this. I'm at 55 hunger. If I eat a grilled sardine... Um, wow, they give you a ton. It just gave me, like, 25, basically. Okay, so that's very good. It's much better than what you forage. All right, cool. Now, um, while the day wanes, I know I need a ton of stone, so let me just start gathering stone. There we go. All right, I got to get better at, like, not wasting a swing.
How about that? Ow. Alright. I think I walked into the tree while it was being cut. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that could have been a lot worse. I really like not having to worry about encumbrance, you know, and weight. Everything about this game that I'm getting so far, I mean, besides the fact that the visuals are really pleasing, is just like... It's very laid back and chill. You know, it... It doesn't make you care about the weight of things. The backpack size is generous, kind of like Stardew. You can just stack it up, you know? But the combat isn't, like, overly punishing. You do have to eat, but that's fine. You can manage it pretty reasonably. Here's another place to fish. See if there's a different kind of fish over here. So if I want to fish, I just go like this and just say, wait, wait, wait until... Oh, I pushed it. I double-clicked. Like, I clicked at the right time, but then I clicked again, and the game explodes when you do that. I, mi I misclicked there, but I still was able to catch, and I actually caught two fish, I believe. So that's cool. You can catch, like, more than one at a time. I caught another two fish. What kind of fish am I catching? These are raw bluegill. So this is bluegill. I was catching sardine before. All right. Interesting. And here's some blueberries. Chop it up. Yeah, I need a fiber too, to be honest. I love the sword animation. It, it's just very satisfying. All right, where am I? I am here. All right, I need to go this way to get to my bed. No problem. It's a bit dark. I didn't bring my torch. I'm only slightly embarrassed about that. More slots to carry stuff would be tremendous, right? Because I don't think you can adjust your gear on the go. You can adjust your food, but I don't think you can, like, change your equipment. Alright, beautiful. And can I build anything? I can make a shield now. Armor 7% blocking. Yeah, I'm going to make the shield just to have it and try it. And then that will be used like if I want to go spelunking. Now this is the only dungeon I know about, but I don't know if it like repops. You know, it might be worth investigating to see if things respawn. I'm going to put my fishing pole away for now. I'm going to start cooking um, all of these for... And I'm just going to light it. I'm going to walk away and just let this cook. doesn't look like you have to worry about burning it or anything in Val like in Valheim. I'm going to equip this here. And uh, I'm going to equip a shield like that. And I'm going to go to the dungeon just to check things out. Oh, no. Um, here, take some more wood. I wonder if this draws from this. Probably not, but be kind of cool. Alright. Yeah, maybe the indoor fireplace would be faster at cooking things than this one. Don't know. Extinguish. Collect them. Alright, now I got enough food. And I'm ready to rock and roll. So I guess my idea is um, I'm going into the dungeon. So what that means is I should not need um, an axe. Like, I need a pick, I need my weapon, and I need a torch, perhaps. I might not need a torch, you know. All right, and we'll just kind of wander down here. Poke in up here. What's going on? All right.
right. So now before I kind of left out the back door, but I wonder if there's any purpose to coming back in the front door. They, again, they do let you change it. Oh, wow. Do you have to light these every single time you come in? That'd be interesting. Oh, that is the wrong thing. But see, unlike Valheim, which I'm used to playing a lot, you know, I don't have to worry about the fact that this is going to take up inventory space. I have no reason not to just pick that up. Now, I'm going to try picking up these coins by walking on them. Yes, you can. So that was three coins that I should have acquired uh, for myself before, but didn't understand. And you can break these boxes. Not like there's going to necessarily be anything good there, but it's worth it. Uh-huh. And uh, I don't really see much over here, but I'll just pull out my torch and check. This is just stone. But I'm going to get a full pack of stone. I have no reason not to. Get some experience. I'm just looking to see if, like, the big question is, does metal respawn in a place like this? If it does, then it's worth coming back, you know, every day or every so often to gather the materials. But if not, then this is pretty useless except for anything I missed before. All right, great. Yeah, okay, no, they do stay lit. See, these are lit. So I just didn't have the materials to light them before, but now we're good. Uh, so this kind of goes, what was up here? I wonder how you get up there. Look at that, there's stuff. Like, can I build a ladder or something? Oh, here's one. This gives you uh, coal anyway. Heck yeah. All right, I'm full of stone, so that's really great. Now, I'm just looking for some means of climbing up. Like, you know, do you have to have the, the ability to build a ladder? Do you need um, rope or something? Like, what would that take, you know? Okay, I fell down. This doesn't look great. Yeah, maybe there's a place to jump that I just didn't see. Like, if I jump on this barrel, can I, like, jump on the light and then jump up? I mean, is it that? <laughs> Sometimes you can kind of do some really, like, janky movements. Nah, it doesn't look like that's the case. Maybe you can. I just missed it. But here's a bunch of metal, which is good anyway. All right. And I'm just going to cut back and be sure that there is nothing I can do to climb up there. It looks like I can. I can jump there. Okay, cool. All right. So what's this? Oh, it's a it's a monster spawner. Okay. I should equip my shield, but these guys are like pretty easy, so not a huge deal. But this is the this is what I was looking for. Metal. Oh. Did I not? There must have been one left over. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to eat. And get back to my sword. Okay, that was really great. I love the fact that we were able to go up there, clear that out. Nothing spectacular, but metal, which is important. Now I'll jump down here. I'm just going to look around. Um... That's just regular and regular stuff over here. Enemy. See, I knew that I didn't fully explore this because it was just so big and sprawling. All right, regular stone, nothing. Again, tremendous. I feel like I definitely went this way, though. Um. Okay, what's over here? All right, bad guy. And I don't see much. Uh, I think I can 
jump up here. Yeah, I saved myself some time. That's cool. But other than that, the game has been saved. That's kind of it. Nah. Doesn't look like there's much else. Here's a baddie. And this is just a regular clump of stone. That would be a precipitous drop off. Okay. Yeah, it looks very, very much like I'm going to have to go island hopping to get, you know, more metal and the like. Now, this should heal me if I stand next to it, although I don't need any real healing at the moment, but it's cool that it offers that. There's a staircase over there that just kind of goes back the other way. Here's some more baddies. Yeah, if anything, it's good experience to kill a few stragglers here and there. Regular stone. And we came in here largely for science because uh, I wanted to be sure that, you know, nothing really respawned or... Now, yeah, I never figured out how to get this. So we, we still need to do that. Oh, look, there's a path down here. There's like a thing to light. Okay, great. No, I didn't do this. Or if I did come down here, I just missed that. No, I didn't. I didn't come down here at all. This is all totally new to me. All right, great. Look at this. That means that there is just more awesome stuff in this dungeon. I was not done with it. All right. So there's a bunch of shenanigans down here. So I'm going to try out my shield. Oh, cool. You have like a, a blocking a ability. Okay. Now this says block for five. I don't know what that means. Um, I'll have to figure that out. I don't know if you have to time the block or what happened, but I just kind of am holding up my... Maybe if I... Maybe I get five blocks. Oh, I should have killed them. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm going to try this. No, nah, it doesn't seem to do what I wanted it to do right there. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to uh, light this up if I have enough. Perfect. And, yep, it heals me. So that's the pro tip from Stevo that these heal you. That's awesome. And, look, here's a bunch of great stuff. This is perfect. I'm just going to pull out my torch and get the pick on. We leveled up. How about that? This has been great. Awesome. All right. Okay, bunch of metal. So let's go check out our level up screen. So we have two points. Um, so I could put... Uh, let's see, what does this do? S uh, increases attack speed. This increases your health even further. I could get... Um, extra hotbar slots. I really feel like I have to do this. Like, I want more gathering stuff, of course, but I just really, really want um, extra... Oh, no, I have to get this first, though. I have to uh, get shield block. Ah, darn. Okay. Now I'm going to save up for shield block, then, because I want the extra... I want the extra slots. I just like being able to use as much stuff as I can, so yes, please. All right, we got some wood. We're full of stone. This is great. I love this area. All right. Clear these dudes out. Now, I'm having a blast with this game, and I do want to say, uh, if you're watching and you're enjoying it, um, the developer has given me three uh, extra keys for this game, and I'm going to be uh, giving them away in the raffle on December 30th to any... YouTube channel member, Patreon patron, uh, or Twitch sub. I'll just put all those names in a raffle and then draw three out 
Plus, I have another game, um, Dream Cell, that I'm putting in that raffle, too. So if you'd like to try to you know, get yourself a copy of this game, consider supporting the channel uh, by becoming one of those things. If you're more than one of those things, well, then you get more than one entry. But um, any support is just so fantastic. It just helps me to keep making videos. You also get to vote on content, get ad-free live stream VODs uh, posted, stuff like that. So... Just something to consider. Now, oh, this is the way I came. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my my life for a mini-map. I'm a person who gets, like, just easily turned around in places like this, so. Oh, I didn't realize you had to chop the mushrooms. I kind of thought. How about that? We're getting a lot of metal. This is great. Okay. Oh, light this up. But first, take that, buddy. Yeah, this is just such a premium experience. All right, this is a big boy. Um, How would you... Do I just jump over there to fight you? Sure, I'll do that. But I want to fight you with my shield. There was an icon there that indicated some kind of blocking, like that something happened. So even if you don't, I feel like even if you don't right click with your shield, you're mitigating incoming damage. It does say active blocking 40% more damage. It slows you down, but it gives you 7% armor. Yeah, so you mitigate 7% just by having it out. And then if you block, it looks like 40%. So, I don't know if it's worth it too much at this point to block, but it's definitely nice to have just as, you know, a little buffer. I feel like I can just do enough damage by, like, attacking and comboing right now. And look at my health. Like, these guys aren't the gnarliest of dudes. They aren't the saltiest of dogs, which is great. I, I uh, am guilty of underestimating my jump in this game. It's very high. Your dude can jump, but the vertical leap is unbelievably impressive. Also love that your torch has no durability. Your stuff has no durability. So this is just a really chill experience. You know, no stress about anything like that. Just have some fun. Enjoy the beautiful game. All right. Um, I don't need to heal up on that brazier, but there's one over there, and... Alright, great. Bunch of flint. Get my sword out, because there's baddies over here. I'm going to get my shield out as well, and we're just going to run and... Oh boy, that was dumb. So I actually... Oh... I did take a bunch of damage right there. I tried to use my special attack. And didn't realize that it was on cooldown. And I just ended up taking a ton of damage. So I'm healing up a little bit. I'm going to eat, you know, a sardine. But I could just go over here and just stand by this baby. And get myself some mega healing. I'm already halfway to the next level, by the way. Which is like beyond phenomenal. Look at that combat roll. Give me my. Let's get the torch out. Let's look around. Okay, so I came over here. Oh, can I light that? You bet. You bet I can. Oh, there's a door. That's interesting. I wonder if I can go in there. I am going to go in there, but I want to see what's over here by where I cleared out the enemies really fast. Make sure I'm not missing anything too major. I'm going to come back. I want to see this door. And I want to check out jumping up there. And the answer is no. You can't, but you can maybe do like a little Ewok village climbing and try to get over here. Yes, to this barrel. And I got a bunch of reed, so I'll take it. But there's coins up there. Oh my god, there's a skeleton. It was a tough time for that adventure. I made it. Eight coins, that's enough for the backpack, everybody. Just, I took some fall damage there, but it was very minimal. It was like two. Again, I don't know if they're going to adjust the balance, you know, for 
later releases, but the game is just like, it ain't here to, to crush you. I could have died in that battle back there. That's true. But not, I mean, I would have had to try a lot harder. All right. Light that up. And looks like a bad guy up there. All kinds of bad guys. All right. So let's get my shield out. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of run over here. The, when you sword combo, you like basically hit everything all around you. And what that allows you to do um, is just go for gold on the enemy nests. And there's some more money. And just like not even worry too much. I mean, when they start hitting harder, you will, but... You can focus those down so they don't spawn anymore, and then just as collateral damage from your big combo swings, you take out most stuff, which is cool. All right, I'm going to have to jump on this stone to get over here, do a little hardcore spelunking, and I can do that. Most of these crates don't have anything. It's the barrels that do. All right. Take that. And, yep, we found another metal... The metal seems to be something that they seriously meter out, you know, like, this is limited. Oh, I found some coal, too. Heck yeah. Awesome. Well, look at us now. Um, we are just rocking... In this dungeon, I just jumped. That was actually serious fall damage, but I can just stand here and get my health back. And I can eat some mushrooms, get a little satiety going, make sure I don't starve to death. And let's kind of curl over... Is this a dead end? Is there no way to go beyond this? It doesn't look like I can climb up there. So I might have found, like, the end of the road here. Let me just see... Yeah, looks like it. Well, that's awesome. Everyone, we're doing great. We're about to hit level 7. We've got a bunch of metal we can use. And we still have some more of this dungeon left to explore. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. And I'll check you next time. Take care. <laughs>